Consultant Rob Aliciani knows what to look for in a knockout dining experience. And sometimes that thing is a string of roasted ducks in a window. For Chinese barbecue and classic Hong Kong eats, he heads to Sang Kee Peking Duck House in Chinatown. My name is Henry Chow, and I help my parents manage Sang Kee Peking Duck House. Our specialty is traditional uh, Chinese barbecue, um, and we also serve a lot of noodle soups and traditional Cantonese stir fry. So right now it's 2020, which means uh, this is our 40th year anniversary um, because the restaurant was opened in 1980, which makes us probably the oldest restaurant in Philadelphia's Chinatown, um, and probably one of the oldest Chinese restaurants in the whole city. I'm um, happy to say that the restaurant's been in my family for all 40 years. So we have a uh, special oven um, from Hong Kong that's specific to roasting ducks because it's cylindrical and that helps the heat circulate in an even way. For us, you know, we roast so many ducks a day, so many ducks a month, in a year. You know, we need this oven to make sure we can produce the best quality ducks. I think we're a good place that's um, good for families, um, and because it's you know a multi-generational restaurant, it's a, you know it's it's a place where you know every single day someone walks in and says, "I've been coming here 30 some odd years. This is my place." And they say hi to everybody, and they sit down, and they order what they want to order, and you know every day you walk through the dining room and you look around. There's there's somebody we know. Um, if I have any reason to eat, they, they'll just you know they'll think of saying key and say, "Hey, let's just let's just go there. We know what it's about. We know it's good, and you know we always leave happy." Rob, Sankey Peking Duck House in Chinatown is a really unique spot. Yes. Tell us why you picked it. I picked Sankey because um, it's just always one of those go-to places where if um, my wife Katie and I like can't decide where we want to go, it, you never leave hungry and you never leave with like your wallet totally empty, and that for me is perfect. This time you ordered the two for two. Yes, two? the, the yeah. Peking Duck dinner for two. It's basically a prefix. Yeah, I think it was sixty dollars for two people, and it comes with a half Peking duck duck and vegetable with XO sauce, and fried rice, soup, um, and then we got some other appetizers. You started out with the scallion pancakes? Yeah, the, beef, the beef scallion pancakes were incredible. It had like nice, nice seared beef in the middle. Um, it wasn't chewy, it was just like, Oh, so good. Yeah, I also had that, and I love Chinese pancakes yeah. like from normal takeout Chinese. And that was definitely next level compared to that. It was, it was so really good. delicious. Yeah. You started out with the duck bao and had yes. a situation Ooh. with it? Oh, no. Yeah, a, a mild situation because uh, I think that I may have mumbled something which they did not pick up, and my duck bao came wrapped in a tortilla. And uh, that kind of, made, kind of threw me off, and I thought that they're out of bows. But then the next table got bows immediately after. I'm like, okay, maybe it's my fault, but I did not get the bow. So, yeah. And Madeline, you had I the duck bow. I had the duck bow on the traditional bow mm -hmm. bun. So that was actually my first time having duck. Um, it was good. I don't know. Congratulations. If, yeah. <laughs> I don't know if duck is fully for me, but okay. I think if you like duck, then it's mm -hmm. the perfect spot. That's, that's an impor important question point that you made over there that if you like duck, because I had duck for the first time over mm -hmm. there, I loved it absolutely. Wow. So you both had duck for the first time at this place? Yes. yes. Okay, <laughs> I am so very honored right now. Um, because it's one of, I, for me, it's like if I could choose, if, if like calories weren't a thing and price wasn't a thing and scarcity and like let's take all the variables out and you can just decide to ethically have anything you want whenever you want. I think I would just eat duck skin hmm. for like the rest of my life. When I go with people, a lot of times they're being like health conscious, I totally understand. Um, but they're like, take the skin off. No, that's the and best part. And I'm like, what are you, I'm like offended. Wow, <laughs> what are you I doing? didn't know that's... that was the best part and I was kind of eating around it. I know, and I think, I think if, you, if you don't go, um, yeah, if you don't know, you don't know, but it's, oh my God, it's because like. Because the, the, the skin on the Peking duck is indicative of the way it's exactly. prepared. They puff air mm -hmm. between the skin and the meat so that it has this crisp layer once it's roasted. Mm -hmm. A duck is really like a rich man's chicken. You have to look at it that way, and that's how I, I mean, looked at it as well. I mean, it was well. originally a food for the imperial court of China Completely during the makes 1300s. Sense. Yeah. So. It's just like a supple version of chicken where you bite into it and you feel the velvety texture mm -hmm. go into you. So it's that's just like pretty a much how I would put it. More 
if it's prepared right, it just feels like a chicken that tried harder. Like it's just like a chicken that really That's applied true. itself, you know? I was really excited by how big the menu was. The menu is super it's long. Huge. And like you said, there's <laughs> two menus. Huge. So yes. um, I was with a couple other people. So we were able to try a bunch of different dishes, which oh, I yeah. always enjoy doing. Yeah. And duck, I think I just need to have more experience with it to be <laughs> yes. able to judge you it the, fully. The Hong Kong style. Yeah. What was the Hong Kong style like? Um, it was. They said it was easier to eat, so that was why I got it's, it. I think it's off the bone. Isn't yeah, it? yeah. Um, so that seemed a little less overwhelming. There was still the skin on it, which I guess I made the mistake of not really eating. <laughs> um, but it was good. I just wasn't sure. like, wow, duck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> One thing that I did really enjoy that I ordered was the ginger noodles. Mm, um, I love that. ginger. Like, it, I love that flavor. So it was exciting to have a dish that was like the most intense ginger yeah. flavor with like scallions. And the noodles were really good. Um, I know it was a duck house, but that was probably my favorite thing from there. <laughs> my favorite thing on the menu, they have um, uh, shrimp stuffed long hots. Oh, wow. And so it's long hot peppers that I think are pan seared with, uh, with a ground shrimp mixture mm -hmm. stuffed. Ooh. And it is, oh my God, it is so good. I always like order one for the table if I'm there with friends. Because I think the, the real beauty of that place, you can, I've been there by myself. I've been there with um, just my wife and I. But the real beauty of that place for me is like go with 10 people and everyone orders something and or get the big giant Peking duck meal and then order a few other things and it just comes to the table and there's you know the the, the revolving table uh, in the middle so you're just spinning it and like taking a little bit and you just sit there for like two and a half hours and just you know break bread with your friends and share a bunch of really good food that's the that's the beauty of the place it's a very very communal feel you mm -hmm. don't go there for the as the kids say bouginess no, of it no, but no. you go there to enjoy the meal to enjoy yeah. your company the focus that's is where, on the yeah, food yeah exactly madeline how was the fried banana oh it was uh, so good yeah i Really always like to order dessert because oh, yeah. why not? Um, and the fried banana was just really good. But my favorite thing about it was it came with like a circle surrounding it with different types of ice cream. Mm. I think there was like a green tea ice cream. Mm -hmm. There's kind of like a raspberry-ish flavor. Um, so you could pair your fried banana with the different types of ice cream. Sour Deep, how was the mango shake? The mango shake seemed even more heavenly to me because I was having it with their dandan dan noodles. Uh. And Ooh. their dandan dan noodles, again, it is explosive. It's like um, it's like there was an explosion in my mouth and everything is sweating. Every oh, like nose, spicy. eyes, mouth, everything is watering. And in there, you take a sip of the mango juice. I'm like, yes, this is what God wanted me to have right now. <laughs> These two extremes. This like, exactly. Spicy. And wow. it's like so much. And yeah. you don't get the hotness in your second bite. It was like the third bite and the fourth bite. Okay, there's like a forest fire in my mouth oh. right now. So that's what it was becoming. And then that mango, sweet, sweet mango shake. It's like, here's some firemen for you, some water. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Sankey, Peking Duck House is your pick. Sum it up for us. This place to me, if we're going to Chinatown to eat, I have to always think like, is this gonna beat Sankey <laughs> if I wanna try someplace <laughs> yeah. new? And often I've like, maybe to the detriment of other places and new experiences, I've been like, I'm not even gonna risk it. I'm just gonna go to Sankey's. Yeah. I think it's one of the best spots uh, for Chinese barbecue in, in the city of Philadelphia. Mm -hmm. Madeline, sum up Sankey for us. Yeah, um, a new experience. If you're not accustomed to Chinese food, you should definitely check out Sankey. The menu is so long, you get a chance to try everything. Um, and you really feel like you're having an authentic Chinatown experience. And Sour Deep, sum yes. it up for us. If you are in the city, if you're in Center City area, definitely go check out. I would totally recommend my friends to go there as well. So that was an amazing experience for me. Grab a duck for yourself at Sang Key Peking Duck House, located at 238 North 9th Street in Philadelphia, 215-925-7532. They're open for lunch and dinner seven days a week, and reservations are accepted. The average tab per person is $20.